Okay, in this uh, video I want to show you how to um, install the Sigwin system for uh, Windows. Uh, I'll be demonstrating on a Windows 10 system. Um, the first step is to actually go to um, the Sigwin.com website and um, gives you some information here about uh, what the Sigwin project is. Uh, we'll talk more about this in class, uh, but basically um, it provides a, a Linux-like or Unix-like uh, system uh, for Windows. Um, there are a couple of other alternatives um, to, to Sigwin that provide similar functionality. We'll talk about some of those in class, but again, in this video, I just want to concentrate on uh, an initial setup for Sigwin. Um, if you scroll down on the, the main Sigwin.com uh, web page, uh, you'll see that uh, you install Sigwin by either running uh, this uh, one of two setup versions. I've got a 64-bit um, Windows installation, so I'm going to download this uh, setup dash x86 underscore 64.exe. So just left click on it and I'm going to download it into my uh, downloads directory. It was actually just that quick. And then um, I'll go to my downloads directory here and actually then run it. It popped up on another monitor here. I'm uh, doing this tutorial on a dual monitor setup. Uh, so this is the initial window. Uh, this is the Sigwin setup program. Uh, first thing is clicked next. Uh, we're going to install from the internet. Um, so all the programs will be in, downloaded over the internet. Um, you have a, a, um, a choice in directories where you can install uh, the Sigwin system. Um, I uh, recommend just leaving it here at the default. C colon backslash Sigwin64 and then also installing for all users. That's the recommended setup. So click next. Uh, you can, this is uh, the next window is to specify where you want to um, uh, download the packages that are downloaded off the internet. Um, you can actually delete. Uh, this will create a, a subdirectory here um, under this downloads directory. This is the this is the default directory that's chosen because this is where I started the setup program. Um, again, this really doesn't matter. Uh, too much, uh, and we can delete this directory um, after after we're done with the setup program. So click next here. Um, some uh, uh, co internet connection settings. And I think just the default here is is fine. And then there are a number of available download sites. Um, I've just been using. Um, mirrors.kernel.org, but I think any of them are fine. So select a, a download site and then click Next. It's going to download uh, a file that contains a list of all the available software. And then here's our, our, our main uh, package selection utility. Um, we can scroll down here to see all the different packages that are available. We can expand on these, and, and then uh, I'll show you a little later how to select particular packages. At least, in, and then I guess the other thing is uh, you can have different um, uh, views of the the package selection window. Um, the full view will show you all packages. Um, I, it started out in the category view. Um, and then uh, the pending view shows you packages that have been selected for um, installation. So in the initial run, primarily the packages that are selected are in the are in the base category. So um, this is this is a basic Sigwin setup. So I'm not going to select any additional packages at this time. Um, I'll just uh, uh, proceed and install in this uh, uh, the base set of packages. Um, you'll see in a subsequent video. I'll come back and then we'll we'll uh, install additional packages, and I'll show you how to select those from from this window. So click next. 
um, then it pops up with the list of um, then all the packages that are going to be installed uh, for this for this basic uh, Sigwin setup. Uh, click next, and then it runs. Um, uh, it, it's downloading the, the uh, packages over the internet, um, downloading them all uh, first, and then now it's going through the installation procedure. Um, how long this takes will actually depend on the, the speed of your internet connection and then on the speed of your com computer. And then, so now it's done this install, and then in this, uh, this last step, it actually is... Uh, doing something known as a rebase and then running some post installation files so it's almost done uh, we have the option here of uh, creating an icon on on the desktop if you wish and then in, in addition to that creating a start menu so I'll just leave the default settings there um, and then click finish and we're done so if I come to my window um, scroll down to I've now got a, a Sigwin folder here and then I can start uh, start up a basic Sigwin ter terminal. Um, so it it, start, it opened up this uh, um, initial window here and, and created some files for me. Um, the last thing I'll show you here is in this video is that you can actually uh, change the font size. The nine points a little hard for me to to read. I'm going to change it to a 12 point font and get a, a slightly larger window. Um, and then now we've, we've got uh, a basic uh, window from which we can run some, some uh, Unix commands. Um, I'll show you a little more about this setup in a, um, a subsequent video. Um, to, to exit, you can just hit Control D or just type exit. And that concludes this video.